Today I want to talk about something that I think is taking will take over uh, so many industries. I will tell you what I think at the end of the video. This is not like tech, like hardware, but it's related to Google. And I think Google lately is killing it. I mean, the AI space, now I will show you what they actually did. It's not brand new. It was released uh, probably a few weeks back, but I just uh, noticed it. I, I've been testing it for a while. And I think this is something that we need to talk about because this is something that again, will take over so many industries. I will show you what it is. I will tell you what it is right now so you know exactly what it is. This is an AI model that can actually be with you and see what you're seeing and help you real time. So it's a voice powered AI. You can show the AI whatever you're doing on a computer. You can show even your camera, whatever it is, and the AI can help you. I will show you a couple of use cases in a sec, but I think Google lately is killing it. Of course, with the quantum computer, they're doing a lot of different things, hardware related as well, they're implementing the hardware, but you can actually see they're really playing the AI game here. And I think we should talk about this because Google, again, is a company that is taking over, you could say the world, because this new thing is game changing. I've been testing also the OpenAI $200 a month uh, system, which is nowhere close to what Google's releasing for free. So um, if you want me to do a review on that as well, let me know, because I've tested it and it's really bad. So let me know if you want to see that as well. But let me show you what this AI can do. So you can go out and test it yourself. It's free. The link will be in the description below. You can use it right now if you want to, again, for free. So this is the dashboard when you open the link. And this is the, uh, the name, Multimodal Live API with Gemini 2.0. As you know, Google has the 1.5 and now they just released the 2.0. So I would just do a two simple tests and then another one that I actually think uh, for me is interesting because it's something I'm interested in video games. But let's start with the basics. So if you click here on stream real time on the left, you will see talk to Gemini. This is pretty simple. You could talk to the AI and that's it. You can show Gemini because this is a website. So you can use it on your phone your, or, or whatever you want as well. So you can open the camera, show what you're seeing and it can help you with that as well or you can share your screen. And this is something that I was actually very excited to test. So let's say I'm navigating websites, right? So I will do two tests. The first one is this. This is an Italian website. I, of course, I know Italian, so I, I will ask it to translate, you know, uh, what I'm seeing here. And uh, let's say I don't want to read this article and this first section and see what this is all about. And the AI can help me understand this article. So let's start with this. You will click here, share your screen. Then you do entire screen from in my case. You can also do a specific window, a Chrome tab, whatever you want. But I, in this case, I use my screen. I have two monitors, so I will use this and do share. So are you here? Yes, I am here. You are showing me the Google AI Studio Stream real-time page. Yeah, I need to ask you a question. So I'm reading this article, but I don't have time uh, understanding what it is. Can you tell me what this article is about? Sure, the article you're showing is titled Inside a Fusion Startup's Insane Top Secret Opening Ceremony. It's about a startup's unusual opening event that included robots, a penis programmer, and the use of holograms. Okay. Uh, do you know, for example, what did you see? Did you see this advertisement? Do you see this advertisement? Uh, what is the name of this company? What is this company doing? Like Square here. The company in that advertisement is called Square and they are promoting their Square terminal product. It seems like they offer payment processing services with no credit check or long-term contracts. What is the pricing for this specific tool? I cannot see any pricing for the Square terminal tool in the image. Do you know if you have to look for it? You would need to look for the pricing information if it was not included in the advertisement you are currently viewing. The advertisement only mentions no credit check or long-term contracts. Okay. So this says, Paolo, your way to paradise. What, what country is this? The ad on the right says Vancouver to Auckland, which are cities in Canada and New Zealand, respectively. Okay. And what company is this? Can you see the name of the company? Yes. The name of the company is Air New Zealand. It is located at the top right corner of the ad. Okay, so now let's go here on this article. This is in Italian, and I don't know what they're saying. What is this? the first article here saying? 
Okay, the first article you are showing on the screen is about a soccer player named Luis Henrique and his first offer to the Fiorentina team. It says that he's in high demand. No, what I'm saying is this one over here where this guy looks like he's crying. What What is this thing saying? Okay, the article below the Luis Henrique one says that the last time Martinez played at the Franchi Stadium, it caused tears and applause. Okay, okay. So, as you can see, uh, is able to read real time what I'm reading. And yeah, this article is right. The only thing is this is not Franchi, it's Franchi, but that's fine. I don't care about that. But yeah, you can use it to read even uh, languages that you don't understand. You can read an article, whatever. And you can ask it about companies. So it's able, so for example, here, um, it was able to read the name of the Air New Zealand, for example, which was like a little bit hidden on the top right. But yeah, it was able to read it. But now, let me show you another use case, which I think for me, for example, for other gamers out there, could be something actually super cool to use. Let's do this. I'm sharing now, I have another monitor. So I'm starting to share my screen and I'll show the AI what I'm doing, right? So let's start. Um, okay, you prefer this use case because you enjoy playing video games and yeah, like the idea so of having someone I am to playing, play with. I'm playing a game right now. Right off the bat, can you tell me what game is this is? Sure, the game you are playing is Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> okay, um, so the first thing is, uh, I'm just started. Can you tell me what is the first thing I should do here? Because I have no idea. I just started playing the game. I am probably at the beginning where the main camp is. Okay, you just started playing the game and are at the main camp. Is that right? You are wondering what you should do first. Do you want me to help you with this? Yeah, what would you do? Like, what is the first thing you would do? Okay, the first thing I would do is familiarize myself with the camp and then talk to the characters. After that, I would follow the main quest line. Would you like to know anything else about Red Dead Redemption 2? Yeah, what is the name of this character here? This guy with the... Black The character sweater. you're looking at is named Pearson. He is the camp's butcher and cook. Are you sure that his name is Pearson? Yes, I'm sure the name of the character is Pearson. He's the camp's butcher and cook, as I mentioned before. Is there something else you would like to know about Red Dead Redemption 2? Yeah, what is the name of this character here, this one smoking? That character's name is Dutch van der Linde. He is the leader of the gang in Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay. Can you tell me how I recognize my camp on the map? Do you see the map down on the left? Yes, I can see the map in the bottom left corner. Your camp is marked with a small tent icon on the map. It is currently placed in the area named the Heartlands. Would you like help with anything else in Red Dead Redemption 2? Yeah, one last thing before you before we go. Can you tell me how do I start hunting? Okay. To start hunting, you'll need to find an animal to hunt. Once you've found one, equip your weapon and aim at the animal. Then, you can shoot. Once the animal is dead, approach it, and you will have the option to skin it and collect the carcass. Do you have any other questions for me about Red Dead Redemption 2? Yeah, how do I select the weapon? Because I have no idea. Okay, to select a weapon, you will need to press the L1 button on PlayStation or LB on Xbox. This will bring up the weapon wheel. Then you will be able to select your desired weapon by highlighting it yeah, with the left I'm, choice. Yeah, but I'm playing with keyboard and mouse. So what is the keyboard key to select the weapon? Okay, if you are using a keyboard and mouse, the key to select a weapon is the tab key. Is there anything else I can help you with in Red Dead Redemption 2? No, not for today. Thank you. Okay, have a good time. So as you can see, this is another use case, which is Again, something that if you like playing video games, just let me do one thing here. Let me close the game down. Otherwise, you will keep hearing the audio of the game. Um, this is something else. You, you, this is something else you can do with this AI. And I really think that if you think about this technology, like this is just starting. So imagine this in five years. Imagine this even in two years. So this. Uh, probably will grow and you know it will be better you can actually probably do other things with it and i'm thinking this could take over entire industries um customer service 
let's say you have a problem with your computer and you have to show the computer you have to show the ai you know uh what is the problem the ai can tell you click here go there so customer service tech for tech support in this case like imagine all these things that the like AI, ai can do and now replace you know people doing it and when it comes to video games of course this is something extra and i think uh developers can implement it because since it's google it could be implemented with games as well to make it more interactive and i really think google is taking over the ai space taking over the tech industry in general is innovating creating new things and i really like the direction they are going so yeah i wanted to share with you guys this new technology today because i really think this is something we should all be aware of and again if you want to try it go in the description the first link it's free you can start using it right away from your phone from your computer from whatever you want let me know what you think let me know if you want me to make other videos related to ai again if you want me to review the 200 dollars a month uh open ai i have other ais that i use some uh, also an ai that does everything for you like you just say do this and the ai goes online and does everything let me know these kind of videos are something you're interested in. I can make more videos about this as well. With that said, thank you very much for watching. If you like these type of videos, consider subscribing. It's free. And I'll see you very soon in my next video.